Here's how to get to Toronto's lesser known island with one of the best views of the skyline. Most people visiting the islands might snap skyline shots from Olympic or Wards Island. However, Snake Island, in my opinion, is the most underrated of them all given its small size and distance from the main tourist areas. I'm so sorry if you guys were trying to keep the secret and gatekeeping it before, but here's a 10 step guide on how to get here. One, arrive late to the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal and finesse your way into being one of the last to board. Two, avoid every tourist inclination to film the skyline from the boat and then maybe do it anyway. Three, once you get off, walk south on the main avenue of the island until you see the multi-seat bikes. Four, turn left on Lakeshore Avenue. Don't walk too fast, okay everyone? Maximum 30, okay? Five, try to hitchhike on one of these bikes and then fail spectacularly. Six, watch couples bike past you and try to suppress the feelings of loneliness by stopping to see the views of Lake Ontario along the way. Seven, check out the viewpoint at Chippewa Island and wonder if you should give up here because your legs are getting tired. Eight, continue east because you feel like you need to prove a weird point to yourself about quitting. Nine, be surprised when you see the Snake Island Bridge. And 10, follow the trail under the canopy of trees until you reach the end. Look at you! Oh, it's just a perfect place to just hang out on a nice summer's day. All that's left to do is enjoy the weather, the sunset over the water, and the skyline either by yourself or with some friends. Now if only I had one of these boats so I didn't have to walk all the way back to the ferry dock.